Koa has two client-facing solutions. We have our back-end hub, our, our web-based back-end hub. Um, I like to call this our centralized command center. Really, this is more for management level and up. This is where you're gonna control permissions, who has access to the system, analytics reporting, and so forth. But we also have our front end point of sale solution as well. And this is a little bit more positioned for your sales consultants, your bud tenders, your connoisseurs, whatever crafty phrase you've bestowed upon them. Um, but this is the portal they're gonna use to interact with the customers every day, searching for products, adding products to your shopping cart, discounting products, checking customers into your store. Hopefully you're extremely busy, so they're adding them to the queue as well. And then most importantly, ensuring that you have all the compliance pieces of information attached to that transaction once the customer walks out the door. So now that we're logged into the tablet, guys, let's take a look. I'm gonna orient you real quick. I know this is probably the first time you've ever seen Kova, so I just wanna set the tone and what's going on here. So when you log in as a sales consultant, bug tender, can of sore, whatever, um, you're gonna be logged into the sales screen. Now, what's going on in this sales screen? So as you can see, this is all the products that you guys as a retailer can carry. You'll also notice you can have images associated with all of your products. This is a feature that I really like, especially for new retail operations. You might be having staff work for you that's just unfamiliar with the industry or the market. So having that visual verification of, this is the product that I'm picking from my point of sale system, as well as what I'm picking off the shelf and making sure that we're putting the right products in the bag. Because something you don't want to do is make up, mix up products and have products exit the door that really weren't supposed to. The second thing that I see that's really valuable from a customer experience side is if I tap into the information button attached to this specific product, you can now see the wonderful array of information about this product. Now, why is this key? Two things. One, your staff is always gonna be product rock stars. They're never gonna get caught off guard with questions that they can't answer. And then secondly, consistent messaging as well. I'll tell you from my standpoint, something that I don't like is when I go into a retail operation and I either know more about the products than they do or they're searching for words, right? Again, this is a consumer product. This is something I wanna purchase. So I wanna know what I'm purchasing as well. And if your staff is kind of thrown off this vibe that they don't know what they're talking about, likelihood I probably won't come back. I should know more than you. Now that we're back on the main screen, what's going on on the right hand side? Well, this is your shopping cart. As we add items in, this is where they're gonna populate. Now there's several different ways that we can actually populate these in. Most popular is using integrated scanners. Pick that item off the shelf, scan it, boop, goes in the shopping cart, great. You can also search by unique identifiers, maybe lot numbers, batch numbers, SKU numbers, really depends how you're defining that product within your catalog, um, but several different ways we can do that. Of course, you have the ability to attach a customer to this shopping cart or this transaction as well, and that would be because maybe you want to just collect buying, uh, you know, purchasing behaviors or buying trends for your customers. Maybe you're in a medical state and it's required that a medical customer is attached to every transaction. So you do have those options as well. And then as you can see towards the bottom, you have take payment for when you're processing normal uh, kind of uh, customers right in front of you. We're just checking out right now or that save as an order uh, section uh, that we mentioned earlier. Maybe this is a call ahead order. Maybe I've already created a cart, but I'm not ready to, uh, to leave the space yet. Maybe this is my first time in a, in a dispensary. So as I'm adding items to the cart, I just kind of want to take a look around, walk around, take my time. So again, you can kind of park these orders and then pick them up for later. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate over to uh, the top left hand corner and click on menu bar. So what's in the menu bar? Well, let's just kind of take a quick look. So as you've seen, we're on the sales screen right now. I won't dig into that. We've also got a customer screen. This gives you the ability to um, start to interact and work with customers. Now, for every normal retail space, um, you typically have one point of sale station that's set up specifically fixated on this customer screen. Now, the reason why is you're going to go through kind of an age gate or verification process. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to click into the customer section. That way you can kind of take a look at what's going on here. Okay. So think about this. Now, again, this is your customer section. You're really going to have two points of interaction with customers. You're going to have brand new customers or you're going to have existing customers. And there's really two paths or processes that you can take depending on uh, that type of customer coming through the door. You know, as you can see, you have a scan ID function, okay? And then you also have a new customer function as well. Well, what are these? So let's just take a quick look. So if I tap into new customers, 
Here's a customer profile field. Here's all the information you can collect, the, the details that you might want to gather around your customers. Are they medical versus recreational? Up in the top right hand corner, as you see, selecting medical, it requires a bit more detail uh, around me as a consumer. Enter in the birthday, pricing groups, maybe any uh, type of notes or information around me as a consumer. So next, what we'll take a look at is what's the scan ID function? Now I know I mentioned earlier that uh, COVA is uh, very compliance first. And so what this great tool does, it actually uses an integrated scanner and I can actually scan the license. Once I scan this license, you're then gonna have your compliance pop-up screen come into place. Now this is extremely important. This is doing three things. It's looking at my, uh, my age, if there's an expiration date on my license, if I am a medical patient, which I did notate in my profile. It's letting me know that I have medical information missing. We are built for enterprise again also. There's something that um, you know, happens in the industry which is unfortunate, but this process of looping, where you have a customer coming off the street, they purchase an X amount of products, maybe it's 28 grams, for example, and maybe that's their daily allotted limit. But what happens if you have five stores? And after meeting my daily max limit is store number one, I go to store number two and I try to walk in and buy that same amount. Well, at that point, you've essentially oversold to a customer. So having a solution that can cross communicate across all of your stores and share information really alleviates this from ever happening to you, which is great because what will happen is after that customer makes their purchases at store number one and they go to store number two and they go through this normal check-in process again, You'll see adjustments. The system will let me know I've been into the other store. It'll also let me know uh, the breakdown of how much room I have for my purchase limits um, as well. So let's jump into Q next. Well, what exactly is the Q? It's kind of what it sounds like. It's a queue of people. Um, you know, this is the ability for when you're checking customers in, you can really do three things when you're checking them in. You can either go ahead and directly attach them to a sale. Maybe it's not a busy day and they can work with the next sales consultant uh, that's ready to serve them. Or maybe they can't. Maybe it's a really busy day. It's a Friday. It's a weekend. Maybe it's just any day of the week. But uh, you've got a lot of action going on in the retail space. But you do want to keep your customers organized and in a consistent flow and know who's to be served next. So that's exactly what the queue does. It helps you keep your store organized, who's ready to be served. You can also see a couple of different things here. If you've got a heart next to your name, that means you're a medical patient. No heart, that means you're recreational. If I'm ready to process a sale with them, I hit serve, takes me back to the sales screen, we're ready to rock and roll. Nothing too complicated here. So let's talk about orders. So what is the order section? Well, good question. This is really the centralized area for you to keep organized all the orders that are coming into your store. You know, as we kind of touched on earlier, you know, Koa has a lot of different services they can provide to you. They have the express checkout, they have menu boards. We have integrations with online menu companies as well. So maybe you have an online menu integration. Maybe someone's on Leafly looking at your website or looking at your product offerings. And so maybe they want to do some call ahead ordering or again, you know, those direct orders through your e-commerce platforms. <clears throat> but this is essentially a centralized section for you to kind of manage all of those orders that are happening outside of the traditional working with a customer in front of your butt tender, right? So you can come in, you can see the customer, the source that it came from, the statuses, the methods, how am I picking this up? What are the costs? Even the, uh, the flow of the ordering process as well. Has the order been placed? Is it in progress? Maybe it's getting fulfilled right now um, from a filler role, right? So, and, and then you can also place that when it's ready for pickup also. <clears throat> so the great thing about the order section is it can be very dynamic as well. You know, we work with several different customers that have several different flows when it comes to order section. So rest assured that we can really tailor this up and make sure that it's an experience that is customizable for your flow. So next, we're gonna take a look into cash management. Now, as you guys know, cash is king. Now, that is gonna be dependent upon the country that you're in. Now, if you're in the US, as you've probably seen, each state's a little bit different. However, cash is typically the traditional payment method. Now, if you're in Canada, good for you guys. You can take integrated payments or even non-integrated payments, but credit card, debit, that's a good uh, to-go green light for you guys. Now, why is this important? And what's the reasoning behind this? Well, a couple of different things. I think foremost, just being that flow of communication. So the time that a retail consultant signs into the tablet, they're gonna cash in. You're gonna see that flow of communication. You'll see all their sales. You'll see their refunds. If, they, if the drawer gets a little too heavy, maybe they have to take uh, cash out and do a little drop into the safe. 
right? But all this is wrapping around to one thing, which is reducing theft, reducing fraud, and ensuring that you truly have a true understanding to the synth of where your money's going.